Hello my beautiful Moglets, today I wanted to talk about a couple of puzzles here in Guardian Tales that I thought were really hard, just tricky to think about really, once you know what to do it's not very hard. So we're in Tower 48 here, we start off in this room, this is the first of two like puzzles. So those red buttons you see on the left trigger flames, and when these powder cakes touch the flame they start to explode. They don't explode immediately, and once these barrels, these powder cakes I'm holding touch a fire, they will beep for a second and then explode. The goal for this room is to destroy those two rocks down there so the electricity can pass and the door will open. Since there are only two flames and two rocks, and the barrels won't explode unless thrown or touching fire, then, you know, it's pretty simple. You go through this path twice, once with a block being on the bottom red switch, and once with a block being on the top red switch. So once the door is open, I go ahead and get another powder keg, but you don't need to, as all these bald bearded guys give you kegs when you talk to them. So there's one small trick I do here immediately, one little thing I found out, which basically makes it swear you have to get hit one less time. So the one little trick was uh, standing here at this fourth block, and you can trigger the blue switch, which makes the blue blocks fall down and the red blocks come up. And if you hit the red switch, you know, the opposite happens. So I think what the game actually wanted you to do was to hit one of the switches, light up these torches, and have the barrel explode here to trigger the switch. But the barrel has enough blast radius where you can stand over here, throw it, and it'll hit the switch. And our goal is to get to this purple statue with the red flag on it. So as you can see here, we needed the red blocks up, because if they were down, we would have continued going forward into this tile, which would have forced us back at the beginning. I tried several times to hit the red switch from here with the barrel, but that does not work. You are always going to throw the barrel either up, down, left, or right. You cannot throw it diagonally, and since there is a red block here, which is way too far away, even though it does have a somewhat big blast radius, it's not big enough. So here's another bald bearded guy which gives us another keg. You can see what happens when we don't trigger any switches. We go directly back to the beginning. So this next thing I had tried pretty early on, and that's throwing the barrel to try and stop myself so I am not forced into this rotation. And you can see we clip straight through it, so I kind of give up on that idea for a while. Also, you can see those two torches there, and we can light them up without any problem. And I of course tried that as well, but the barrel explodes nowhere close to any switches when uh, those are lit up. But then I noticed there's another bald bearded guy there that could give us another barrel. So my thought process was like, well there must be some way to get over there, and if you you step on those switches, you're going to be forced back to the beginning, just because of the way they are. There's no way to stop yourself, except the barrel, so I tried it a few more times. And indeed, this time we did not clip through, so yeah, that was the part I got stuck on for a while, just knowing what to do. It still is a little bit tricky because the timing is a bit tight there. As soon as you throw the barrel, it does begin to explode as well, but if you jump too early, you'll go straight through it, and if you jump too late, it's gonna be gone because it exploded. But now we're back to the beginning because we do need to light those torches after all. Yeah, you just need to wait half of a second before jumping into it. And then we get a new barrel from this guy, and we have to choose the right tile to step on. When we were forced into the tiles on the right side of the fire, it exploded too early. So naturally we tried lighting the fuse, so to speak, on the right side of the torch, and that indeed did the trick. At this point I didn't want to mess anything up, I was pretty cautious, just looking around, observing, what am I supposed to do now? I did try hitting the blue switch again, and we got stuck in those, so <laughs> yeah, I uh, got, got back out of there. And I eventually got a new keg from the dude just to be on the safe side, and I figured down here is the only real option, so that's where we went, and that pushes us straight to the exit. We just need to throw the bomb to lower the walls. And that was that. So I found that puzzle to be the hardest, at least so far, of what I've uh, come across. You know, I still have some levels to do and such. And I guess while we're here, we may as well do Tower 49 as well. So you step on these switches to uh, bring down the walls, and the walls come back up after a set amount of time. You can see this one goes down pretty slowly. And that top switch up there lowers this one. So I was trying it exactly like this for a while. So I kind of figured you just have to be fast and like perfect and not wasting a single millisecond to make that wall. But eventually I realized that no, there is no chance. I think even if you were perfect, you wouldn't make it doing it like this. So we had to think of something else. But here you had to think a little bit outside the box. It wasn't only about skill. What I eventually noticed is that the timer for the third block is actually quite a bit longer than the others. So I first started with trying to press that one first and then go trigger the other three and just run straight through without having to go back up the stairs. I did also try to attack the switch but to no avail. So after learning about that longer timer for the third block I basically just started my little run there from up the stairs. Because what I didn't really think about or notice until now is that you can jump off this wall. And so yeah basically I start from there, jump down, I get sped up by that there and it was still very close because of the third block so you definitely still need to like have good timing and such but more than anything i guess you just needed to know like in which order to trigger the buttons 
uh, to begin with. And I guess while we're here, we may as well talk about Tower 50 as well. It's not a puzzle. It's uh, two bosses at once, plus some little totem enemies up there. I died quite a few times trying this, not gonna lie, but I eventually got it. I personally killed the big toothed shield guy first because I just felt like I wanted to keep an eye on him more and like by the time all my allies were dead, he had the lesser health. So I was like, okay, let's try and finish him off because as soon as you kill one boss, you know, then it's just a regular boss and it's really not that difficult anymore. It did definitely take quite a long time because they're tanky and I was kind of alone here because my dudes are just standing there and getting hit. And we also end the tower off with a nice chunky 1000 gems. But yeah, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. This is a little bit of a different video, I guess, since I'm kind of just voicing over here. Hope you enjoyed it regardless. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.